All right, here's the 69. We got it home yesterday, but I didn't have no time to do nothing, and we went to the Braves game and was out until 3 a.m. But uh, Ralph Macchio from the Karate Kids sat right behind us. He was overly friendly and took a picture with my son and his friend, so that was cool. But anyways, some of y'all are going to say, oh my gosh, you traded a 71 Nova for this car, but it's not bad. It's not as bad as it looks. Motor runs, but, I mean, you know, we're not too worried about that. We'll take it off. It does have the snowflake intake. Um, so, of course, you know, all this surface rust is not a big deal at all. Um, even this stuff, it's all surface. I mean, none of this is solid. We took the, uh, the carpet uh, out and looked. Floor pans are good. If you look, you might find a few pinholes. You can see, but underneath it, it's all right. So everything in there is good. The headliner's good. I mean, of course, we would probably, if we keep it forever, we'd pull the headliner out. If we're going to, you know, sell it or flip it, then we wouldn't. Um, <clears throat> nothing special about it that I know of. I haven't looked up the numbers yet. X11, 71 paint code. O10. So what is that? 71's the Le Mans blue. I did look that up. And then the O10 is just black interior. So the plan is to pull the motor and get it on the engine run stand. Like I said, they showed me videos of it running and it didn't look like it was smoking, but we're not real worried. We've got another motor in there that's good. But we do like that intake. Uh, but we'll pull the motor, clean the firewall, uh, Sandblast, clean the frame, get any of this surface rust fixed. Needs a new dash. We got a rebuild kit for the hinges still for mine, so that's no big deal. Yeah, that, that passenger side's got the worst hole you can see right there, but underneath it, it looks good. We had it in there. It's just, you know, starting to get bad. But that's all the stuff off of it, so that's that's really not bad at all. At least not to us. Like I said, got a four, Muncie four-speed. Let's see, all that's good. The worst spots that we saw was the, the what is this called, a package tray? That thing got rusted. You can tell water just come back through here. We got a dent here. Then the trunk pan, we've got one if we need to. If not, you know, we can fix that. We can cut the piece out because it's just right in here. All the other parts up through there is good. Yeah, I see right there. We'll just put the piece in right here because there's no reason to bondo or anything if we can help it. Got new tail lights. Um, so yeah, we'll see. We'll pull the glass out. And then here's all the parts. The hood's nice. It's an actual metal, steel cow hood. It's heavy. It look good. The seats, the front seats look really good. The back seat needs to be recovered, the top of it. Yep. Got two new fenders. We got the original fenders. One of the original fenders is fine. The other one though, uh, the story is it got knocked out of gear by some kids and it ran down through there and hit it. But I've got a, it's, it's raining, but I might can show them. But it's got a ton of new parts. You can just look in here and see them. Fender fenders, inner fenders, whole new grill, uh, some wiring harnesses, uh, headlights, like I said, tail lights. I don't even know, oh, core support, the bumper. Like I said, some of it, we haven't even went through all of it yet to see what we have and what we don't have. Did it come with a package tray? It didn't, did we? So I have to buy that rusted spot by the back glass. We'll have to do that. And then the fenders, are they outside in the rain? Yeah, I guess I don't want to go out in the rain too much. Oh, yeah. Right there's one of them. And that's the one that got hit in the front. 
Well, yeah, so that one's probably just not good. But now the other one's fine. Just a little rust at the bottom. Oh, and there's the patch panels fixed the rust too. They didn't. He didn't have a trunk one, but he had one. So you can see right there. We've already pulled the gas tank out this morning and cut the exhaust off. So there we go. We traded another Nova. I think, like I said, I mean, I even told the guy. Now, he's a nice guy. Local, too, which is awesome. I told him, I said, I, I wouldn't have probably traded the Nova for this car because this is a lot of work, but this is perfect. This is right up Daddy's alley. He'll have a project, and he always wanted another 69. Oh, and we got the gas pump. I forgot about that. Oh, we've got, uh, it's got water all over. That thing's full of front disc brakes for the car. Old Willwoods. You can see the Willwood sign. And then we got this gas pump. He's got some parts for it. He'll bring me the glass up here and the cover there. So... Again, I, I don't know. He was saying he was going to put the Nova online and, yeah, or he may just try to sell it. You know, he might flip it. You can tell he flips a lot of cars. So, but we won't. I don't think we'll miss it. Well, there's the 69 Camaro. So, we'll have another one to make some videos on.